So you just start your clinical. Let's break down lines, drains, and tubes. You see those everywhere. First one, Foley catheter. That's an easy start. Foley goes into the bladder and monitor the urine output. If it's a low urine output, think about AKI, obstruction, or hypovolemia. After urologic, urological procedures, surgeries, like prostatectomy or kidney transplant, the Foley stay in place. So I always check uh, with the surgical team before removing them. JPs and pigtail drains. JP means Jackson Pratt. It's a very common drain we use in the operating room. They're placed during the surgery. Um, they usually prevent buildup of fluid, um, like a near anastomosis or after an infected field. If it's bright red blood coming out from the drain, being alert. If it's serious, serious sanguineous fluid, usually it's okay. Another common drain is the pigtail drain, which is placed often by interventional radiology. They have an internal suture um, that goes uh, that goes all the way to the tip and keeps a curled tail in place. Never pull those blindly. Always ask or watch a video first. NG tubes and dobovs. NG tubes or nasogastric tubes. They go through the nose down to the stomach and they're used for decompression in small bowel obstruction, ileus, or a very big GI surgery. They always confirm placement with an X-ray uh, unless the surgeon placed that in the operating room. Dobov tubes are used for feeding. They're thinner, post-pyloric, and they're used for for feeding, not suction. You can give a specific, some specific medications through it, not all of them. Uh, peripheral and central lines. So peripheral IVs are your go-to, as you know. Central lines, especially the IJ, are used for medications, CVP monitoring, or even dialysis. You might see a trialysis catheter, which is a triple lumen dialysis or triple lumen central line that has two ports for dialysis and one for centrally infused medications. Permacats are tunneled catheters that goes under the skin and they're used only for dialysis. You cannot infuse any medications to it. A very common mistake is, um, you know, pulling tubes, drains without talking to the team. So do not pull a tube, a drain, or a line unless you know exactly what it is and that is okay to remove. Seriously ask first. Save this for your first day on the wards and tag a med student who needs to know this.